I don't know if you've missed this over the last 24 hours, but humans have landed on a comet. We now have the first photos coming to us from the surface of a comet that we know as 67 P, which is short for 67 P Churyumov Gerasimenko, which is a sort of rubber ducky shaped comet. We have been uh, traveling to this comet for 10 years. This has been planned for 25 years and the travel, the, the total distance traveled was 6.4 billion kilometers or roughly 4 billion miles to reach this comet. This is truly remarkable, Lewis, and it was the European Space Agency lander that did this. Rosetta is the orbiter file. I think is it file or file that it's being pronounced, Lewis? I think it's file. File. The lander file uh, is now on the surface of this comet. And uh, just to give you a sense of the scope of the distances we're dealing with, Lewis, if you imagine standing up on the third step of a of a ladder and jumping down and trying to hit a target. If you miss that target, you might miss that target by a few inches and you just adjust and uh, uh, and stand on the target you were trying to hit. This comet bounced two or three times, depending on the reports you read. And one of these bounces led to a one kilometer miss. It bounced one kilometer up back into the air and then landed one kilometer away from its target landing site. And that's a distance that to us just bouncing over a kilometer is hard to even conceive mentally. And this is a very tiny distance when we think about uh, about the size of and the distance of this entire voyage. Uh, yes, it could have been disastrous, I, I guess. Um, I think there are still a few things that have gone wrong. Yeah. But uh, overall, this is pretty incredible. It is. And the lander, as Lewis mentioned, the lander failed to the 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 gravity is so low on this comet. It is only one one hundred thousandth of what it is on Earth, meaning that the lander effectively weighs about a gram or point zero four ounces. I mean, try to wrap your mind around that, that the goal was to use these three sort of harpoons to secure into the surface to then allow the lander to drill. And the concern is, if not harpooned, because the gravity is so low, merely by drilling Lewis, the lander might end up pushing itself back off of the comet, which of course would be a disaster. Yes, uh, hopefully from here on out, everything goes well. But uh, I mean, just landing on it is, is such an accomplishment. No question about it. And I'm not so interested in this from the point of view of extracting resources from comets or asteroids, but more in the sense that we we are now starting to figure out. Uh, I mean, th think about what has been done here. We do a, a six point four billion kilometer trip over a 10 year period. Communication is maintained with the, the, the craft. We were able to relatively precisely remember a kilometer is really not much in terms of the the, the length, uh, the distance traveled, land it. And now we are going to be doing research this far away, even though the distances that would be involved to really start traveling to other solar systems are inconceivable to us by our current technologies. This is the type of thing that we should be working on. And Lewis, it, it's amazing because I talk about uh, how, how true space travel developments could really start blurring the lines between countries and those conflicts. This is the European Space Agency, and this has been, for the most part, fully embraced, covered in a way here in the U.S. that really makes it irrelevant that we're talking about Europe, a, a part of the world that so many in the U.S. have all of these ideological conflicts with. It really does seem to be bringing people together. It does. I'm very much looking forward to the uh, Afghan space program and uh, yeah. you know, other similar programs. No, uh, all joking aside, you're right. This is uh, this is a great thing. And uh, if 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 only we could all focus on this, uh, this type of thing. 